Hi, and welcome. Today I'll be sharing some of the results from my paper, which discusses what it's like to moderate the subreddit Ask Historians, and how its location on Reddit impacts moderation work. This work arose from an ethnographic study of Ask Historians, during which I conducted interviews and observed the community. I was also provided with the full comment log, including removed comments of this highly upvoted thread, which asked about the context of a series of photographs of women performing sex acts in front of crowds of uniformed men. Ask Historians is a subreddit with a mission to promote public history, which is done largely through their rules. The rules aim to ensure that questions can get good answers, and that answers follow practices common in academia, such as reflecting current historical methods. These rules are strictly enforced, and all other content is removed. In this way, Ask Historians operates differently than the rest of Reddit, which has long-standing platform-wide norms of freedom of speech. The other important aspect of Ask Historians is its user base. In a census, moderators reported that the user base, similar to Reddit as a whole, is young, white, and male. This user base has a profound impact on Ask Historians, in part due to Reddit's design, which promotes content through upvoting. When the user base determines what content is seen, it will largely choose topics and subjects that align with their interests. For Ask Historians, this means the questions and answers that are asked and upvoted reflect topics typically associated with male interests, as is reflected in this quote here from Sea Rocks and Trees, who says, I think what it reflects to me is that there's a lot more boyish topics that come up, whether it's war and weapons and video games, and then a lot of really insensitive questions about rape. This impact was so widely observed by moderators that they developed an explanation for it, an empathy gap, which is defined here by Sun Against Gold, who says, it illustrates a distinct empathy gap, a socially conditioned inability to default extend intellectual personhood to people different than us. One of the absolute most asked questions on Ask Historians is, did ancient soldiers have PTSD? Sometimes we get to hear questions about knights having PTSD too. Anyone want to take a swing at, in comparison, how many times people have asked about rape survivors and PTSD? And when you search for it, be sure to filter out the questions that ask about the soldier rapists developing PTSD from massacring and raping civilians. This empathy gap is not limited to question asking. We can also see empathy gaps in removed comments. Here are a few examples from the question asking about the context of the photographs. These comments neglect to treat the women in the photos as real living people. By removing these comments and thus rendering this particular empathy gap invisible to Ask Historians users, moderators strive to create a safe space for women on Reddit. In our interviews, moderators regularly express the belief that allowing comments like these to stand and thus potentially upvoted would fail to exhibit compassion towards people who lived in the past. In addition to removing comments, moderators also provide responses. In this example here, moderator Kami Space Invader shifts the focus of the question from soldiers' uniforms, and thus men, to the experiences of the women in the photographs, highlighting issues around coercion and consent in occupied territories. So by controlling visibility through comment removal, and by providing responses that recenter those often neglected through question asking and upvoting, Ask Historians moderators close empathy gaps by providing space for people, histories, and perspectives from those outside the normative demographic to tell their stories and have their voices heard. These measures have a very real impact, which we can see through these quotes from users here. The first which says, Answers here have helped me inform my political opinion, my thoughts regarding issues such as LGBT rights and feminism. It was actually an answer here that made me fully consider patriarchy theory, colonialism, and its very subtle effects on today's society. And last, but perhaps most importantly, have had an influence on my overall thought process and problem solving. And in this next quote, said in response to Kami Space Invader's answer in the question asking about the photographs, which says, I can say with absolute certainty that you changed my perspective on the topic at hand. What I saw as a relatively harmless consensual situation was revealed to be something very different, which I never would have considered. So what this case study demonstrates is the power of moderation not just as a retributive force, but that it can also be instructional, directly countering misinformation grounded in historic falsehoods and providing users with tools to critically assess information they encounter across platforms and communities. Thank you.